Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mary Grace TV. It is a great day to be here. And I've got we, we've got quite a show lined up for you today. I, I think that most people have gotten to the point where you realize that you, you thought the crazy train was moving at a really high speed. And now it's at white knuckle speed. And we're not sure what's going to happen next. But welcome to the crazy train. Um, we know that God is in charge, so the crazies are going to keep doing what they're doing, uh, but we know that there's more to the story. And I have with me today my good friend, Clay Clark. Clay, it's just, um, you know, we were chatting in the green room about some of the stuff that's coming up. Uh, the, the lead up to the eclipse is like nothing we've ever seen. Right. And we want to talk about that. And for my listeners who are new, Clay is is really one of the most powerful voices in the America First movement, and he's a person who does deep dives of research. And, and so this is why we like to get his take on things, because he's going into to deeper places using open source information, stuff that anybody can find. Clay just happens to really like doing it, and he's dedicated and committed to doing research that other people won't do. So Clay, let's talk about uh, April 8th. Let's talk about I don't know, like eclipse, eclipse yeah. again, um, cicada again, bird yeah. flu again, Armageddon. Well, <laughs> I'll say What's this. happening? I'll say this to your listeners. Hey, you have some of the best listeners out there. So if anybody's watching right now, <laughs> thank you. If you have a comment or a question, please feel free to ask and we'll see how many of those we can get to yes. here. But yes, let's um, do that. I just say this is, is one, there's, there's, there's five facts we need to know about April 8th. So just take away any speculation, okay. any prophetic words, because I know some really, really nice people that that claim that this event taking place on April 8th prophetically is the sign of the big turnaround and America is going to turn it around. Then I know of other people that say this is a, the sign that America is over. You know, there's, there's different people on hyperbolic prophetic. But let's just look at the facts. So one is we know that a solar eclipse is headed to the United States of America April 8th. That's a fact. All right. So that's fact one. Fact two, we know that NASA, NASA, the organization which uh, was, you know, I've always been skeptical of any big government organization, but in Hebrew, the word NASA means great deception. It's a fact. I mean, I, I don't know that I would name my kid NASA. I mean, I don't know that any of your listeners should go by the nickname NASA. You say, well, why, why do you go by the nickname NASA? <laughs> uh, because I believe in great deception. I mean, it, it means to beguile or great deception. Yeah. So that's a fact. Fact number three. NASA has decided to launch what they're calling. I'm not calling this. This is the NASA mission. NASA is declaring the mission. They're calling it Mission Serpent Deity on April 8th. So Mission Serpent Deity. Now, again, there's a lot of animals out there. It could have been like Operation Monkey Hat. You know, it could have been Operation yeah. Monkey yeah. Hat. You go, what? I mean, you could have named an animal and then named a thing. It could be Operation Monkey Hat. It yeah. could be Operation, uh, you know, Dog Shoe, you know, and you'd go, okay. But, serpent you know, it, but they, Serpent Deity, which means Snake God. So yeah, that's fact number three. Right. Fact number four, uh, this is CERN, the world's largest uh, computer, the world's most expensive computer, the, the, the quantum computer, the quantum is massive, CERN, C-E-R-N. CERN has decided to launch the restart of their Hadron Colliders, colliders on April 8th. What? Yes, April 8th. And you say, no, they don't. No, they didn't. You just there, there. And a uh, CERN, okay, fact number five, uh, Stephen Hawking, the late great uh, atheist scientist. I'm not saying I like him. I'm just telling you he's no longer alive. And he happened to be known as one of the top scientists in the world. And for whatever this means, he said that if CERN is successful it, uh, in their, their quest, CERN's quest is to recreate the Big Bang and to isolate the God particle, that they could cause the end of humanity. So again, you have these five facts that we're dealing with, okay? Uh, and then, then you add in kind of a, a sixth fact. You go, uh, Israel, okay, there's a Jewish, there's fundamentalist, a fundamentalist a Jewish people that practice Judaism who are now saying, hey, we've got the blemish-free red heifers ready to go. They're ready to go right now in Israel. They got the new altar built and they obviously need to establish, they need to sacrifice the blemish-free red heifer to usher in the creation of the third temple. You have that. And fact number seven, one more for you, is you have uh, all of these countries, specifically China, Iran, Russia, they're all coming against Israel simultaneously. Some could argue that Israel's provoking it. Some could say they're just, just defending themselves. Either way, 
these are the facts that are all converging, uh, Mary Grace, at the same time. So not, not like at, at, at in a later date or distant dates, but they're all culminating to April 8th. They're all happening at the same time. That's, yeah. <laughs> I, I think how many, how, how many uh, times until it's mathematically impossible to be a coincidence? Yeah. I think that's, that's the question, right? Yeah. And, you know, I, I think that one of the things that we really like to say a lot here on the channel is that is don't be scared, be prepared. And, you know, there, there is, there's sometimes an attitude, especially with Christians that it just doesn't matter because we're, we're leaving this world. We're not of this world. Mm. Uh, God's God, you know, Jesus is coming back. Uh, right. He's going to take us all to heaven. So, that's one of the things that I think some people have that attitude. And then other people go to the extreme of being so scared that they spend all of their time and energy focusing on things that they can't control. Right. And, and so I think when it comes to things like this, I want to kind of encourage awareness, but then also encourage a, a realistic um, approach to yeah. focusing on things that you can control. And so can we talk about that a little bit? Yeah, because I mean, it. it's it's crazy. And I want to talk about one aspect of what I see happening at the same time, which is there, there have been a lot of things coming up in the news that I think are good, for, especially when it comes to the court cases with Trump, some of the legal stuff, you know, they expected to have him in jail by now. They expected to have him off the ballot by now. They, they're they failing on those levels. And we are winning some smaller battles. And I think that, I think, so I think it's no mistake that we now have all of these entities launching what I would call panic porn scenarios. Yeah. And, right. And so one of them, obviously, is this new bird flu where they're, uh, telling people that not only is it getting the cows now, but that it's going to transfer to the humans. I don't think the timing of this is accidental. They tried the monkeypox. They tried, uh, what was it? What have they tried so far? Measles. They've come up with all of these ways to scare us into further compliance. We've seen the language of the uh, missives that they put out. They want more surveillance of the, of the population. Unless you're an illegal alien, then you're fine. You don't even need an ID. But, um, but for everybody else, it's just this, this convergence, like you're saying, it's a convergence of evil. It's a convergence of anything they can do. It's like they're trying to throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. Are you getting that feeling? That, I am. I am. And I, I would yeah. say, you know, to your, to your point, and I just want to make sure everybody uh, uh, yeah. knows this and, and Linda, hello to you, Barbara, hello to you, uh, Terry, hello to you. I just want everyone to know this. So you kind of go through that line item list again of the things that are happening yeah. Yeah. for the eclipse. What am I going to do? Me personally, I'm just telling you, I'm not, I don't want anyone to judge me. I'm just telling you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go look at it. <laughs> didn't look at the last one. And I just don't care. I personally don't yeah. care. Me personally yeah. don't care. Not into it. Doesn't matter. I'm sure there's somebody who will video it. I'll probably watch a re, re, uh, replay of it at a time that's convenient for me. Yeah. I, honestly, I'm not going to take time off of work. Now, if you do watch it, it's fine. Some people I know watch the Super Bowl. I don't care. Maybe you do care. It's okay. I'm not going to. So, so what, what am I going to do? I'm just going to go to work. And uh, school's out, though. Schools are letting people out. So, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, so people I know, they're, they're going to be out watching. That's okay. So that that's thing one. Um, thing two, uh, CERN. They're definitely, I mean, whether, whether I want to talk about it or not, CERN is going to fire on the Hadron Collider. Yeah, yeah. The last time they did this, it caused a le electromagnetic problem. What? Everyone needs to look it up, okay? If you look it up, just go to go to Google, folks, and look up CERN Cloud. Okay? C-E-R-N, yeah. C-E-R-N, and it created this bizarre cloud, and people say, well, what is CERN, or where is CERN? CERN is located in Geneva, Switzerland, and the Bible tells you in Revelation 9-11 and Revelation 2-13, that Satan dwells where Antipas mm -hmm. was martyred and where the former temple of Apollo was located. Now, where is CERN? CERN has chosen to locate their home office exactly where they believe the former temple of Apollo was and where Antipas was martyred. So CERN believes they are located on top of where Satan dwells. Whether you and I are believing it or not, 
this is what they believe. Okay. So they are excited about this, uh, that they being CERN. And by the way, they're located in Geneva, Switzerland. So is the World Economic Forum. They mm -hmm. turn as the 666 logo. So does the World Economic Forum. So again, I will not be in Geneva. I will not be at <laughs> CERN. Yeah. I will not be watching it happen. What am I going to be doing? I'm going to be at work doing what I normally do. So again, yeah. the, the first thing one, thing two, nothing. Third, as it relates to NASA, they're shooting up rockets into the eclipse, and they're calling this Operation Serpent Deity. Yeah. I also will not be at NASA. I will also not be um, celebrating or, or, or chanting in favor of the NASA rockets. I'm not going to make a, a cultish, um, uh, you know, weekend to honor the serpent deity. I'm not going to, but other people are. So you get into, well, what am I going to do? I am planning and preparing as though an electrical and electromagnetic event will occur, much like I have been for a long time. So okay. this is the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to plan, and I think all your listeners should plan as well, as though there is going to be some sort of electromagnetic problem. I'm going to plan as though there's going to be some kind of crazy event. So just like when uh, we had a massive ice storm two and a half, three years ago that hit Texas right, and Oklahoma, right. uh, I had firewood. I had food stored up. And uh, I wasn't excited about the ice storm, wasn't fired up about it. I was kind of convinced that it wasn't going to be as bad as the media said it was going to be. But mm -hmm. it was devastating for Oklahoma and Texas. Okay. And I did have firewood and I did have food. So I think that's a, a move for all your listeners. I think you should have firewood and and food and, and just basic things ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, you're beginning to see local sheriff. Uh, local sheriffs, plural, are announcing that everybody should have two weeks of food stored up and they should all have their gas tanks filled up. I don't know why they're saying that. I don't claim to know any more that I'm telling you on today's mm -hmm. show, mm -hmm. but I do think it's wise, and I'll just stop there with my first recommendation. I do think it's wise that we're all stocked up and that we're good to go because, I mean, yeah. we've never seen an eclipse mixed with the world's largest computer whose stated goal is to recreate the Big Bang. You know, CERN actually said one of the, the big concerns they have, Stephen Hawking said this too, a concern they have is that if, they're, if they are successful, it may cause a black hole. I've never personally engaged in anything yeah. that may end humanity, <laughs> nor do I think anybody should, yeah. but that's what they're talking about. So I think that we should all yeah. be yeah. Um, stocked up on some kind of food um, so that we are not in a bad spot should we have some sort of disaster occur for mm -hmm. 12 hours or 24 hours or two weeks. And really, I think that, I mean, that's just wisdom for anything. You know, uh, my, my niece is in college and she lives in a college, you know, she's in a college town in the mountains and they were expecting a snowstorm. And I contacted her and I said, make sure you have da, 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 da. Right. And she grew up on the coast and she goes, okay, so what you're saying is I need to be prepared for a hurricane, but with cold weather. And I said, exactly. <laughs> so it's just the same idea, right? That you have extra water, you have extra food, medications, people who have prescriptions, make sure that you have enough so that if the store is closed, if there's a disruption in the supply chain, you can get that. I've been working on that today with a family, with a couple of family members who need uh, supplies for diabetes, right? Those types right. of things. Um, food, obviously, uh, some of my listeners have already been stocking up. One of the things you can do is go to griddownchowdown.com. You can uh, get freeze-dried beef, which is an amazing way to keep your cupboards stocked. This stuff will last anywhere from 15 to 20, 25 years. And when you rehydrate it, it's it's raw. And so you can cook anything you want. You don't have to keep eating the same thing over and over for weeks. You can make different recipes. When you go there, just use promo code Mary Grace. You can do the subscription. Now, some of it, it's not going to get to your door right away. So if you're looking at April 8th, that's something you're going to have to prepare for more immediately but I have a feeling this isn't going to be the last such event that we're facing. So definitely go there, griddownchowdown.com. Another thing is if, you, if you're not into meat, you want just regular like superfoods, you can go to my website, marygracemedia.com, order the superfoods. It's all shelf stable. All you need to, to reconstitute it is water. Same idea, but just be prepared. Have things that are shelf stable. And mm. this is how we do it. And you know, you set aside a, a bit of your budget every month to do this. And when you get on the subscription model, you kind of don't have to think about it. So those are some practical ways to do it, guys. Um, you know, have cash on hand, things like that. So we're not trying to scare you, but, you know, people get busy. They get 
Yeah. They get, you know, they get, uh, life happens, things are happening. And, and so it's hard to always be abreast of everything. That's why we bring you this content. That's why we bring you the shows so that you can have some time to prepare so that you can have voices that you trust showing you what's happening. We're not trying to scare you. We're actually trying to equip you. And so I'm really glad that you're bringing us this information. I, I put a post out today on social media. I said, what's like, what's, ha what is the, what's the latest thing we're supposed to be scared of? Cause I'm having trouble keeping up. And it was kind of a sarcastic post, yeah. but at the same time, people were posting stuff like real stuff that I wasn't even aware of yet. And, and so it's just the information race is, is going at breakneck speed. And so that's, that's why we're bringing you this information. Um, in terms of what's coming up with the election, you know, we've had General Flynn on the show. We've, we've had him talk about the fact that he thinks that there may not even be an election. We're looking at things like the bird flu, where they're wanting to scare us into thinking, I mean, if, if we saw what they did, anybody that still remembers what they did four years ago, close the schools, um, lockdowns, uh, supply chain, but it's all for what purpose? Mail-in voting, right. um, cancel election, vote from home, whatever it is that you want to do, drop boxes. And we remember that they put a lot of those things into place at the last minute outside of the legislative process. So when you see things like this happening, that's what we know now that it's leading up to, right? So, yeah, yeah what do you think about that election? Well, I mean, again, if you look at what, uh, if you look at what uh, Klaus Schwab is saying and you look at what King Charles is doing, uh, King Charles d announced a countdown clock to Agenda 2030. That's not my opinion. He announced a countdown clock to Agenda 2030. Now, his goal is to make it where we own nothing and have nothing and, you know, headed into Agenda 2030. That's what they, they want. They want us to own nothing and have nothing and be happy about it. So that's, that's, the that's, king. And that's their stated goal. That's King yeah. Charles who launched, announced the countdown clock. But he and Klaus Schwab are on the same page. Yuval Noah Harari is on the same page. But you throw all that out. Look at the Bible, Revelation chapter 16, verse 12 through 14. Everyone should look it up tonight. Uh, Revelation chapter 16, verse 12 through 14. The Bible is very clear that when the Euphrates River dries up, the false prophet is going to show up. China and Russia are going to team up. The beast system is going to show up. What does it say? In Revelation chapter 16, verse 12 through 14, the Bible is very clear that when the Euphrates River dries up, China and Russia will team up. The beast system will show up and the false prophet will show up. And all of these things are happening right now. So many people, if you go and look it up tonight, many of the leading technologists who work daily with AI and CERN, they refer to CERN and AI as the beast. I don't refer to it as the beast. They refer to it as the beast. So they're wanting to unleash the beast. Um, you look at, um, I mean, CERN is wild. I mean, if you, let me, let me read this to you. This is on the CERN website. And I'm going to read this to you and I'm going to go ahead and send it to you in the private chat. Cause I think anybody who has a sound mind should assume I'm making this up because it sounds <laughs> so wild and it's not something that I, I wish I knew yeah. it's, just, it's what it is. So on the CERN website, what they do is CERN is trying to open up portals into other dimensions. So let yeah. me give you an example. Yeah. Uh, I have five kids and sometimes I want to open up the door and enter into their dimension. You say their dimension. I got five kids. And you know how it is. Some of the kids, they might not be into the whole like uh, cleaning the room phase. And I have to break through. I've got to push through. I've got to do what I have to do to get through so that I'm able to see what is actually going on there. Because what they say is going on there oftentimes is not related to what's actually going on in the room. So on a shallow level, I have to break through into <laughs> their dimension using the nice. door portal. And we have to figure out, okay, what is that smell? What is going on? What are you guys doing in here? And do you, do you have people spending the night? What's going on? Where's the dog? Where are the cats? What's happening? Is that a sandwich in your room? What are you guys doing? So you, and moms out there, you know what I'm talking about, dad. So you got to break on through. So Stern, <laughs> they want to break into a portal into another dimension. However, they're located on top of where they believe to be the bottomless pit. So I'm reading this to you. I sent this to you in the private chat. Yep, so I just posted public. it. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to read to you from paragraph four. It says, we're looking here. This is documented. This is their findings documented. This is their research, scientific research documented. It says, we're looking here at an imminent visit from a race of carnivorous men. Let's try it again. 
We're looking here at an imminent visit from a race of carnivorous dinosaur men. The superhuman clone hive legions of some evil genetic queen empress, infinite polypantheons of dark nega deities imprisoned for eons and hungering to feast upon human souls. A parallel victorious Nazi global Reich or something of that type. This is just one of the paragraphs on this page where sir now you get some of you might not know this sergio sergio bertolucci paragraph one they're saying what you know what is cern doing what are you doing he says out of this door might come something where we might send something through it this is what they're doing at cern who, who believes they're located on top of the bottomless pit so that's what they're doing so i think it's important Sounds like science fiction it does it, it sounds like you're watching yeah. stargate or something yeah i encourage you to you open up your bible to revelation chapter 16 mm -hmm verse 12 through 14, and see what the Bible has to say about it. So, and then open up your Bible to Revelation 9-11 and Revelation 2-13 and see what the Bible has to say about it. And mm -hmm. I'm not ripping anybody out there who's in favor of prophetic words. And I happen to know some people that claim to be prophetic. I don't know their heart. I don't know who's prophetic, who isn't. But I do know that the Bible, 27% of the Bible is prophetic and 73% of the Bible is historical. 73% of the Bible is historical. 27% of the Bible is prophetic. So I think it's a good idea that we all read the word of God, mm -hmm. which we believe to be not changing. And we really get to a place where we feel good about knowing about the what the Bible says needs to happen. Because I agree with yeah. many of the comments here that God does win. I do believe that God wins. But I also think between now and then, it's a good idea to have mm -hmm. yeah. a practical plan. And I'll just give you an example. In 2005, 2005, way back in the day, I was 26 years old, 27 years old. And I discovered because I had multiple friends of mine that own banks. How did I meet people that own banks? I had a major entertainment disc, just a disc jockey company. We were doing 4,000 events a year. I started that company out of my dorm room and parents' basement. It was a big company called djconnection.com, which I don't own anymore. But when I got a chance to meet these bankers, I, always, I, I would say to them, I would love to pick your brain. I want to meet you one day for lunch just for like 15 minutes. I want to understand how banking works. works. Yeah. And all three of the bankers that I met with, told me that there would be a time in the future where banks or the dollar would collapse. And that's because we're no longer on a gold standard. And so that idea was something that really, really made sense to me. And so I said, well, what books do you recommend I read? Because I'm a reader. And they said, oh, you got to read The Collapse of the Dollar. That's that book there. Oh, you got to read The Creature from Jekyll Island. And that's what I did. And so I read the books. And after I read the books and I understood what was happening, The Collapse of the Dollar, I understood that these countries were hoarding the Earth's gold getting ready for this moment. Folks, back in 2006 and seven, I was learning about Brazil and Russia and India and China and these countries that were hoarding the earth's gold in preparation for now. And so I talked to my wife, my wife and I talked to each other, we've been married 23 years now. And I just, I think it's a wise idea for us to take a small percentage of our income and we should buy precious metals. We should just do it. We should buy gold. We should buy silver because I, it just makes sense to me. Well, today, you know, I look like a genius to many of my friends and family because gold hit $2,300. Yeah. Um, if you look up the price per ounce, I don't want anybody to rush to buy gold because it hit a record high today. I'm just saying, but it, it it's continues to hit a high. Silver is hitting a high. And that's because the dollar is going away and Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, they're all teaming up together, the BRICS block, to introduce a gold-backed programmable central bank digital currency. So back to the practical things. I'd stock up in the event of you know not being in a good spot for a week or two if we have an electromagnetic issue. The second thing is I would have precious metals as part of your portfolio. And somebody says, well, I don't have a lot of money. Well, what can I do? Well, you know, silver price per ounce right now of silver that's as, as of right now today i'm going to pull it up using you know available information that everybody else can find up okay so right now the spot price of gold according to usa today today is uh you know 26 dollars and 55 cents silver silver yeah silver. yeah yeah, yeah silver yeah. 20, uh, 26 dollars yeah. and 55 cents per ounce and then the price of gold per ounce and thank you for uh, correcting me on that the price <laughs> of gold per ounce today um is 22.65 2265 dollars mm -hmm. so again everybody out there i think everybody out there could probably afford uh to buy one ounce of silver so i think it's a good idea that everybody out there you start thinking about okay can i take five percent of my income a 5% of my net worth and, and buy um, silver before the fiat currency collapses. And then my third call mm -hmm. to action is um, 
And this is something I'm very passionate about. I feel like God wants us all to honor the Bible and what it says in Hebrews 10, 25, which tells us, don't forsake the gathering, even as we draw closer to the end, but encourage one another. If you read yeah. it, folks, it's Hebrews 10, 25 from the Bible. And it says, don't forsake the gathering, even as we draw closer to the end, but exhorting one another and so much more as ye see the day approaching. So my wife and I, we launched this thing called the Reawaken America Tour. This is our final confirmed event, uh, June 7th and 8th. And you know we're going to have Laura Trump and Eric Trump and General Flynn and Cash Patel. And that website is time to free america.com. Uh, Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, uh, Dr. Judy Mikovits, um, Jim Brewer, Roseanne, so many of the truthers are all coming together. And, and why they love the Reawaken America Tour crowds is because I don't censor them. I don't uh, give them any censorship at all. There are no teleprompters and there's no corporate sponsors to appease. And why attendees love it is you can name your price. And why uh, my wallet doesn't love it is because I don't make any money on these. So if everybody, if you're out there today, uh, um, I just yeah. encourage you come to one of our events because I yeah. promise you're going to have 70 speakers over two days and you're going to learn so much yeah. that you're going to come home and feel encouraged, educated, informed. And again, the next one is Detroit, Michigan, June 7th and 8th. And that's time to free America.com. And it's right up here on the screen guys. So, uh, you can, you can scan the QR code. You can go to the website. Uh, this may be the last one, uh, yep. most it's the last one before the election that supposedly will take place. Um, so you definitely want to do that. If you're in that area, it's really worth it to go. And one thing Clay didn't mention is that there's so many vendors there. There's so many, uh, America first companies and brands. And, and that's one way to network and, and meet other people standing in line. You're going to meet so many people. General Flynn comes out, Clay comes out, uh, people come out to, to meet you. The speakers come out and talk to people. It's, it's just a really special, special time. And so I definitely encourage everybody that who can to do it and just call them. And he's serious when he says, name your price. Some people are going to pay whatever you can afford, right. uh, you know, the economy is really tight and, and we know that. So, um, you know, I don't make anything off the tour. Clay yeah. doesn't make anything off the tour. We yeah. just want you to be in a place where you can get the truth. It will be streaming on my rumble channel as well. So that's Mary Grace media. In case you can't make it, we do stream both days of the conference all day on, on the channel. Um, Clay, is there anything else yeah. before we go here that you want to share with our listeners yeah. Uh, it's always enlightening, and I just want to encourage everybody, don't be scared, be prepared, but pay attention to these things and, you know, share this with your friends and family so they know, like, this is all open source information. This is not wackadoodle conspiracy nut stuff. Clay is just laying down the facts and, and bringing them all together in a way that people can understand. Well, I'll say this uh, for all your listeners out there and, and Paul and uh, uh, Rachel Bruce, I believe it is. And for anybody in the comment section, if you go to time to free America.com forward slash Alex time to free America.com forward slash Alex. Um, I've done a deep dive and I've gathered 119 events that are simultaneously taking place that the Bible said would take place. So on the reawakened tour, I'm meeting the who, who, the who's who of researchers. I mean, the people that know what they're talking about with legal, with medical, with geopolitical, with military. And when they tell me something, I have the opportunity to listen, right? So what I do is I listen. I also have connected with some of the top theologians and pastors in America. And so what I've done is I've organized that information at time to free America.com forward slash Alex. And so you can click on 119 biblical events that are taking place. And I can see where in the Bible, the Bible said that these things would come to pass. And I think it's really important to know that. And if you're looking for uh, just some Bible reading tonight, you say, man, the Bible's a big book. I'm feeling convicted. I'm feeling conflicted. I feel energized. I want to do something. I, I don't know where to even start. Um, Mark chapter 13 is Jesus telling his apostles how it all ends. Mark chapter 13. Matthew chapter 24 is Jesus, not Clay Clark, Jesus telling his apostles how it all ends. Uh, it, again, Luke chapter 21 is Jesus, not me, Jesus uh, telling his apostles how it all ends. Um, it's very important that you read that because the Bible was written, again, not to scare, but to prepare. And what Jesus wants us to do, what God wants us to do, I don't speak for Jesus, that's why you need to read it yourself, but what he wanted to do was to give everybody a chance to turn our lives over to him. And to, yes. so these signs were allowed to, to be like a great shaking or a great wake-up call or like birth pains before birth. 
with. Um, and so all, all I can say is that God has put you on this planet for this specific time. And everybody out there, don't feel overwhelmed or isolated or afraid or alone. Know that God is with you, and He just wants to wake you mm -hmm. up and have that relationship with you. So I encourage you to go to Mark chapter 13, Matthew chapter 24, Luke chapter 21, uh, and I promise that'll get you really encouraged. And again, that tool is timetofreeamerica.com forward slash Alex. And I put that together because I was on the InfoWars show multiple times this year, and I really okay. want listeners of info yeah. wars to be able to understand the bible and not just geopolitical facts and so if you go to time to free forward slash alex you can see those facts right there thank you and we we do want to encourage everybody pray pray through this uh god will give you wisdom if you pray for it and and as a christian it is it is our birthright and so we can get wisdom and revela revelation directly from him look at the information prayerfully ask Holy Spirit for wisdom and revelation about what it is that you're seeing and how to put it all together. And one thing that's really important, I think, for people to understand is that we don't all have to agree on certain points of what we read in the Bible. But the way to know God, there's only one way to do that, and that is through Jesus Christ, who himself says that. And, and that's really the critical point that um you know he's he's the only one who raised from the dead the only one who in any religion who ever claimed to be raised from the dead and you know other religions have prophets they have leaders nobody has anyone who conquered hell and death except jesus and wow. he is your way to god so we do agree on that <laughs> um and so it's uh it's really important that people understand that and make a choice. Uh, where will you be whenever the time comes for you to leave this earth? What's that going to look like? It's up to you to make that choice. Um, anything else? We're gonna we're gonna sign off here. Uh, my listeners, stick around. I know Clay has other appointments to get to, and we're so grateful, Clay, for having you on the show. It's it's always interesting. There's always so much information packed into a short time. <laughs> And uh, we know that you have a lot more to do here. I just want to remind people one more time, the Reawaken Tour, this is the link. Go ahead and reach out to them and get your tickets. What's that phone number in case they want to yeah. just get you to directly? You can text me my cell phone number here. By the way, I'm helping Peter Navarro, the great uh, patriot oh, yes, Peter yes. Navarro, raise money. And so I'll just tell you this. Uh, Peter Navarro was uh, President Trump's chief financial or economic advisor. And uh, he's the guy who um, uh, led the policies. So specifically, he led the the deregulation. Um, he led the, the lower taxation. And he led the tough negotiation with China. And because he's 74 years old and he refused to turn over his emails, his texts, and his emails related to his private conversations, conversations with Trump while he was in the White House, the 74-year-old great patriot Peter Navarro now sits in prison right now. As we're doing this show, he's in prison. And I told Peter, I talked to him on December 23rd. He told me the situation. I said, Peter, I promise you, I'm going to help you pay off all of your legal bills. I'm going to do that. And by the way, I'm working with Rudy Giuliani on some stuff here too. So we'll talk more about that. Maybe we can get Rudy Giuliani on your broadcast. And I would so love it, to. What's happening is they're persecuting so many of these wonderful yeah. people yeah. that are have been serving our country, country faithfully for decades. And they're put in a situation for the first time in their lives, these hardworking men and women, where they now have exorbitant legal fees and they have no way to pay for them. And so I told Peter we'd set that up for him. So it's gibsongo.com forward slash Navarro. And anybody who donates anything at all today is entered in for a chance to win a backstage pass to the Reawaken America Tour. So you just donate anything at all to gibsongo.com forward slash Peter or gibsongo.com forward slash Navarro. I mean gibsongo.com forward slash Navarro. And you text me proof of donation to my cell phone number 918-851-0102. 918-851-0102. And you're entered in for a chance to win a backstage pass to the Reawaken America Tour. And we have just now under 650 tickets remaining for the Reawaken America Tour in Detroit, Michigan, June 7th and 8th. So again, givesendgo.com forward slash Navarro. My cell phone number you can text me proof of donation to is 918-851-0102. Every dollar you donate helps. He's a great man. Uh, if you're out there today and you benefited from low taxation, deregulation, tough negotiation with China. If you liked the Trump economy, the man that authored the, those policies and plans is Peter Navarro, and he really could use your support right now as he is in prison, unable to raise money as the legal bills continue to mount. Exactly. This is good. And, you know, Peter Navarro is such a perfect example of somebody who is is willing to pay the price to do what's right. 
And so many times, you know, we, we have people in our audience who made decisions to do certain things because, because they were afraid of losing what they have. And, and we're, we're, we've all been in that situation. I mean, you are spending millions of dollars on, on lawsuits, um, from people that are suing you frivolously. And it's th what we're doing comes at a cost. It, it may be personal. It may, you may be losing friends. You, people may have lost jobs. Um, the example that we see right now with Peter Navarro is a perfect example of that. And, and so, you know, you're in good company if you are paying the price for standing on principle and, and, and walking in integrity, this is the model for how it's done. It's not comfortable. It's not profitable in many cases, and it's, it's really hard, but it's the right thing to do. And so I just, I just want to encourage you. Yeah. No, you're you're 100 percent right. And again, folks, I, I can't I wish I had a more passionate way to say it. I wish I was more articulate. I wish I had whatever that was. But if you go to GibsonGo.com forward slash Navarro and just please support a man yeah. who I consider to be a very good friend of mine, yeah. a great mentor of mine, a guy who I talked to almost every day. Um, this man needs your support. And so, again, that call to action is GibsonGo.com forward slash Navarro. And I appreciate every single person listening Thank you. Uh, to today's broadcast. Um, and I appreciate everybody out there. Read the word of God. I know there's people who write online. They say, Clay Clark is a Freemason. You know, there's all that whole thing. Um, and so every time I use my hands, I'm always worried someone's going to like take a screenshot and say I'm deep state or whatever. All I can say is no matter what I say, yeah. I'm not perfect, but read the Bible. Read the Bible to your head yeah. explodes and when in doubt, read the Bible. Jesus has a plan for your life. And I know that everybody out there, God wants to use you during this time to wake up your yes. family and friends, your family and friends to lead them to Christ. God doesn't want to make America a better place to go to hell from. God wants to save each and every person. So get out there today, folks. Share the gospel with your family and friends. And again, thank you, Terry. Uh, thank you, Paul. Thank you, Audrey. Thank you, every single person who invested your time, which is your most impo important asset, into listening to this show. And if you haven't subscribed to Mary Grace TV, you got to do it. This is one of the best broadcasts out there. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Clay. It's great to have you. And to my audience, just stick around for just a second. We're going to say goodbye to Clay. And Clay, we will see you next time you come on the show, for sure. Take care, Chief. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye. Okay, listen, everybody, this is, uh, this is, it's so important. Thank you again for being here. I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you like what you see, like, follow, subscribe. Also, the way that you support this channel is by going to my website, get on the mailing list so that you can get an email whenever we go live or whenever we post content. We've had some great content on my channel over the last uh, couple of weeks, you may have missed some of it because sometimes it just doesn't show up in the feed. So if you go to marygracemedia.com and you get on the email list, then you will get those emails reminding you, hey, we're going to go live. Hey, we put up this content. And the other thing you can do there is go to the shopping tab, go there and just scroll through and look at some of the America First companies that we partner with. Some of them are not in the commercial that we play at the end of the show. We don't put them all on all the time, but there are companies that you may find that are going to really benefit you and your family. And when you buy from them, it benefits an America First company. It benefits you and your family. And it also benefits this show so that we can keep the content coming and we can continue to grow and spread out and bring in the resources that we need to make Mary Grace TV a better place. Everybody have a wonderful afternoon and we will see you back here. We do have a show coming up in a couple of days, but just go back and, and watch what you missed as well. When you watch, also, I really wanna ask you to leave comments uh, on the replay. When you do that, it pushes the video up into the feed, share it, to your wall, share it to your channel. Uh, if you want to cut clips from my content, please just tag me when you repost it so that I can share it as well. If you put it on Instagram or Facebook, if you put it on your stories, tag Mary Grace Media when you do that so that we can share it and post it out uh, after you do that. It's marygracemedia.com. Go there, find all of my channels, and then continue to share like, subscribe, and comment when you come back. We will see you back here soon. And thanks again to all of my audience for your great participation here on Mary Grace TV. Have a great day.
Sheets, and I am one of the biggest fans of My Pillow because they have quality America First products that are just made right here in the country, and they last. We have the towels, and I have a big issue with towels that shrink up after the first washing. The My Pillow towels stay color fast, they stay in shape, and they stay that way for years after repeated washings. You can't ask for better, plus they actually work. When somebody buys from MyPillow using the promo code Mary Grace, that does a couple of things. It brings in a little bit of an affiliate commission to our company, and it helps us to pay the bills, keep the lights on, keep the internet going, travel to places that we do to give you remote content, and it also helps MyPillow by giving them the support of people who genuinely value quality and companies that support real people right here in the United States and employ people all over this country and give back to this country. Go directly to MyPillow.com, use promo code Mary Grace, and buy everything you need for the home. There's no need to spend time shopping anywhere else. Go to MyPillow.com, use promo code Mary Grace, get your towels, pillows, sheets, robes, uh, dog beds, pet beds, cat beds, whatever it is that you want for the home, go to MyPillow.com, promo code Mary Grace. It's easy, don't waste your time anywhere else. MyPillow.com, promo code Mary Grace, thank you. Listen, your health is your best investment. We have a country to save, and we need people who are in the best shape of their lives, physically, mentally, spiritually. Why not connect with a team who cares about you on every single level from the inside out? Official Synapse is that team. OfficialSynapse.com. It's official, S-Y-N-A-P-S-E.com. Tell them Mary Grace sent you, and they will treat you like family. If you're like most people, you really probably haven't thought about transferring your paper dollars into physical gold and silver. But I wanna tell you a story. My friend Andrew Sorcini over at Beverly Hills Precious Metals, he recently went overseas and he wanted to buy a watch. He likes, he likes fine watches. He took three currencies with him. He took gold, he took Bitcoin, and he took American dollars. Now there used to be a time when the American dollar was king. I remember that when I used to travel overseas. Everybody wanted dollars. The people that he was dealing with would not take his dollars because the dollar is so devalued around the world. They wanted the gold. So this is what I recommend to you. I want you to think about this. If you have cash in the bank, if you have an investment account that you have worked hard for years to accumulate, consider the value of converting that money into physical gold and silver. You're not buying something that's losing value. You're changing those worthless dollars into a tangible physical asset that will go up in value, which it has done historically. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to bh-pm.com. The first thing you're gonna do is schedule that free consultation. Second thing, just think rationally about this, pray about it, go to the Lord, see what the best decision for you and your family is. I can't tell you that. I don't wanna pressure you into that. What I do know is don't be scared, be prepared. And so the third thing you wanna do is make a decision for you and your family. Make a decision, take action. bh-pm.com. Let them know Mary Grace sent you. I just wanna give a shout out to everybody who watches this show. Thank you for being a participant. Thank you for being a loyal audience member. I just wanna remind you, if you like what you've seen, please share this and don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and also sign up for my email list so you never miss a show.